Okay. I'm not sure of the date today. It's late October. 20th or something. I've been driving for the last hour looking at this. All these clouds up here apparently have been seeded by jet trails like that. I was watching them form. And the jet trails are mostly north and south. I'm starting to wonder if they're dragging the wind with them. They seeded the clouds and the sun's breaking through now but about five minutes ago it was actually real hazy and, and cloudy back up the road. I'm on old 41 uh, just out of uh, what the name? Manchester, south of Manchester, Tennessee and apparently there's a uh, upper cold upper atmosphere and it's uh, causing the condensation and these jet trails I started noticing about an hour or hour and a half ago well up in Nashville and there were just several of them then and they were spreading out I think I noticed them just north of Nashville and they were spreading out and starting to form what looks like these cirrus clouds so um that goes with my uh, theory about inversion and the changing of the winds and I'm wondering if the aircraft might even be having more effect than the uh, than auto traffic up there I don't know but they're obviously seeding clouds and they're moving more, mostly north and south which could be blocking the uh, westerlies a little bit there they are There's a real long one. This is looking more, well, I'm looking towards the east and it's moving northward. And, uh, I first noticed this and marveled at this up in the Rocky Mountains about 30 years ago. I, I was up there and it, on the mountainside in, above Colorado Springs and it was a clear day and there weren't any clouds in the sky. And I sat there for maybe, I don't know, half an hour, and several jets flew over. And it was at the right temperature, and it seeded the whole sky almost. I was just amazed. And here it is again. Here's one here, going back the other way. This one's more diffused. Or at least from this point of view, this one's closer. And they're spreading apart, and, uh, so I don't know. It's been moist, it's been cool. I was flooded out last year. There's too much moisture in this air. And it's moving north and south between the Hudson Bay and the Gulf of Mexico now and not drying out. A few years back it was drought. Southwest is still drought. So, bad news. Okay, I'm still traveling on Highway 41. south. I think all these clouds here were seeded by trails like this. I watched them form this morning. And I don't know what time is it? Well it's almost 10 o'clock. I think this time's different here. But it's diffused sun. I mean it's getting bright now. But it's always diffused by this cloud. And we just didn't have a summer up in Indiana. It's been cold, it's been rainy, it's been wet. I think just about all this cloud formation, see it's all spread out now. It's just at the right temperature. This would be a clear autumn day with probably no clouds in the sky at all. I'm probably panning too fast here. If it weren't for these jet trails that have formed, see there's more over there, that form these clouds. 
There's one there. It's not spreading out. It's starting to warm up. There's one up overhead here. That one there is not spreading out as fast as they were. Oh wait, there he goes right there. About an hour ago, they were expanding rapidly. And now it's much warmer. They slowed down. Place called Mountain View. There's my little car. <laughs> okay, it's starting to diffuse a little more. See, and I just saw another one up there. Oh, it's way up there. There's some going the other way. I've written a few times about uh, when I was 30 years ago when I was young up in Indiana I was a bike racer and the winds were almost always out of the west. Straight out of the west. Out of the dry west. If rain came, it came up from the south, Gulf of Mexico. Now, these last few years, it's almost always out of the north or south, ex bringing extreme temperature changes, and the moisture just floats back and forth between the Gulf of Mexico and the Hudson Bay. So now I'm just wondering if these planes aren't even having more of an effect than the auto traffic and the uh, and the uh, pavement, which is most heavily on the east side of the U.S., sending up an inversion, which they've had in Los Angeles for 50, 60 years. The hotter air rises up and blocks the other air, changing the air currents. Changing the weather. Okay, there's some of the clouds there. There's like a blue film and you can see little creases in it at a lower level. It looks like it's just gasoline fumes coming up off the sea. The wind is right in my face here. It's sort of dissipated or the sun's changed an angle. There's some more uh, clouds here so you don't get that effect in this direction. But looking back this way, it's almost like a... I, I don't see it much here right now. You can still see some of the little creases down there. It's bluish and had these strange little swirls that were creases in it. Weird. I'd never seen weather clouds like that. Grandpa's country kitchen or something. You can you can see a few of the creases here just sort of dissipating. I'm not at the same angle as I was on the road. But there's a crease going kind of across the middle of the frame there. It's got this bluish tint. It's not really a cloud. It's just gas. Okay. It's just about all gone now. The blue stuff. So I'm like 80 miles north of Atlanta or something. And it's quarter to one my time. I think it's quarter to twelve here. So maybe that was uh, like the morning rush hour smog or something. Moving at about 20 miles an hour north or something like that. It's pretty much gone now. The sun's shining 